like how does that make you feel like how do you kind of stay motivated and you know how do you overcome those <coughs> realities or potential realities of the industry that you're in um well I feel like I've, I've had a couple of really down weeks the last couple of weeks and I'm, I'm actually at a point where I'm feeling okay about it yeah I think that's a thing it's just constantly up and down yeah but I think staying furthering furthering learning and training you know like athletes with the training what six seven times a week with their trainers mm. every day dancers will be going to the, to the gym going to dance classes singers w w will inevitably have to be training their voice because the muscles need to work yeah. in the, the way to get the the um to reach the, the pitches and stuff so i think it's you have you know i try to keep busy by doing workshops and stuff and that's why I like the teaching because it cre keeps me creatively engaged because I'm looking for what's not working and so how, mm. what isn't working. Think you know, um, I think it's doing what I know works for me to, to make sure I'm I'm not di um, low in things like serotonin levels. So I know I need to exercise. I need to, need to eat well. Yeah, I get I need to get enough sleep because otherwise I'll then f feel low and then. The fact that I'm not working, I'm not doing this. I mm. feel lower, and then it's like a you know spiral. A spiral. That yeah. also requires a lot of dedication. To yeah, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and I, it'd be it'd be a lie if I sat here and, and said I'm I'm the the, mo the, the most dedicated person since leaving your arm school because it's not the inevitability of life kicks in. Yeah. You have to work. You you know your, your things external to the the thing that you have focused on intensely for three years, like your relationship yeah. and your relationship with your friends, like. You can't live, do you know what I mean? You can't, Absolutely. you know, if I was getting up and doing a vocal warm up at eight every day, going to work and then doing some kind of monologue learning, like, you could be doing that for five years, still not get a job and be like, well, I've fucking wasted five years and, you know, what for? Yeah. So I think it's about striking a balance and I think it's about knowing that there is so much out there that is brilliant that isn't acting. Okay. I, I, what do you mean by that? So, so... There's so, there's so much more to life. Okay, yeah. I love it, and I really, really do want to do it, and I really hope I do well in it. Mm -hmm. But I have to remind myself that there are brilliant things in my life already. So it's just being satisfied and being content with what you already have. Yeah, which is yeah. very difficult, because as an artist, in whatever capacity that is, you you put everything into it. You You want it so much. And you don't want to do anything else but it. Mm. So the, the risk is that it becomes so consuming that when you haven't got it, what's the point? Life's mm. shit. Yeah. So it's about it's about trying to, I think, know everything else in your life that is, that is good and knowing that hopefully my time will come. Absolutely. And that feels like a very, very...